Walking is without a doubt the best form of cardio for fat loss and here's why. So very often when people want to lose fat, they think immediately they need to start going out for a run, they need to be drenched on a cardio machine, or they need to be doing high intensity interval classes and this is definitely not the case. Now starting off, I want to talk about the accessibility. So walking can be done absolutely anywhere at any given time and it is super, super accessible. That requires absolutely no equipment. You can do it in the park, you can do it down your street, you can do it if you happen to be in the gym and you want to do it on the treadmill. It is absolutely fantastic because it is so easy to do. And number two, I absolutely love how low impact walking actually is. No matter what your fitness level actually is, you know, especially for those who potentially have any joint issues, any arthritis, like walking is just so phenomenal because of how easy it is on your body. And that's why you can sustainably do it over and over and over again with very, very low risk of injury. And that's obviously gonna jump into number three, which is just sustainability. So this is something that can be maintained for a very, very long period of time. A lot of other forms of cardio you can do for a certain time frame, but very often they either burn you out, they may affect your strength training. It's obviously easier to get injured and we want to avoid that especially if we're in this fitness journey for the long run which I know a lot of you actually are and for me personally I'm a huge fan of sustainability just like our approaches within nutrition I'm a fan of flexible dieting because you can follow it for the long run it's not gonna be something that's gonna burn you out it's not gonna be something that you're gonna get sick of or your body's just gonna start to break down because of it it's something that you can absolutely do no matter what, whether it's rain or shine. Obviously, you gotta put a jacket on and grab an umbrella maybe if it's raining, but it can still get done. Whether you're tired, you're not tired, whether you're sore or not sore, it's something that can easily be done, which is what's gonna help you through the long run of your fitness journey because of how sustainable it is. And sustainability, adherence, that is the number one factor of seeing results and seeing great success within a fat loss journey, and that's why this is such an important form of cardio. On that note, I'm a huge fan of ease of incorporation. So what I mean by this is it's easy to incorporate into your day. So very often people struggle because they have this massive form of cardio they need to do that they've been dreading, that they hate, that's just going to be very inconvenient as well. And when you can think about just simply walking the dog for, you know, a couple rounds around the block or just, you know, chatting with a friend, like it is very easy to just add in. And for me personally, getting 10 to 15,000 steps just from simply walking and going about my regular day to day, it doesn't feel like it's a challenge. And this is what allows for the sustainability because it's just something you can do, whether it's walking around a mall, going shopping, you know, just walking to the local grocery store. And I absolutely love that you can break it down into shorter sessions or longer sessions, whatever works best for you, whether you wanna do one one hour long walk or you wanna do six, 10 minute walks, whatever it is that fits best for you, it doesn't really matter. Now on top of that, the mental health benefits of walking is absolutely phenomenal. It'll help reduce stress, improve mood, and enhance your overall mental being. I can't say there's ever been a time I've come back from a walk and regretted it. And just from getting outside, from spending time in nature, from having the fresh air and just you know, being present on that walk, it helps in so many different ways past the overall physical benefits. Now, before I jump in the next benefit, make sure to check out the first link down below. You're gonna be able to learn a lot about my online coaching program. And over the last eight to 10 years, I've been able to successfully transform over 4,000 people simply online from across the world. And I'm looking to take on three people who wanna work with me at a discounted rate get the results they deserve, feel their absolute best, lose body fat, and just really take their fitness journey to the next level. Now where it gets tough with walking as a form of cardio is a lot of times people compare it to other really intense forms in terms of the calories burned. However, you can still burn about 150 to 300 calories per hour, which is absolutely fantastic. And obviously that will depend on how much you weigh, the intensity of your walking, but it's definitely not something to overlook. And like I said, the biggest thing is being able to incorporate it into your life, not dreading it, not feeling like it's gonna be the most insane process. And it's a great way to socialize with friends, with family, with loved ones, with your pets, like whatever it is, I highly, highly recommend adding it in. I think a great place to be is around the 45 to 60 minutes per day mark. And it's definitely, definitely easy to accomplish. The benefits are endless. It's super underrated. And honestly, I highly recommend it in terms of just the best form of cardio. Now I'm definitely someone who loves sports. I'm actively in a beach volleyball league. I love playing uh, ice hockey and these are absolutely great, but it's obviously not as accessible. The risk of injury is definitely higher. And it's something that a lot of people think that they need to be doing a sport, which once again, I love. Um, 
a lot of times people just spend so much time on the machines of the gym and they don't even enjoy it. And it absolutely doesn't have to be this way. So get out there, get active. Honestly, walking, strength training, along with a calorie deficit, monitoring your nutrition, these three things, and you'll be absolutely amazed at the results that you can get on your fitness journey. I promise you that's all you need. You don't need to be spending hours running, doing marathons, you know, just beating yourself up on a treadmill. Walking alone will do so many incredible things and I highly recommend you adding it into your routine.